So today I'm talking about a P0496 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0496 code? Well, it's an EVAP flow during a notch purge condition. And what does this mean? Well, the EVAP system is for emissions and it takes the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back into the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. And the onboard computer seeing a problem with this, so it's gonna have to be troubleshooting the why. And the basics of what's going on with this EVAP system is that you're gonna have a hose coming from the gas tank. It's gonna go up to what's called a charcoal canister. And this basically stores the gas vapors when the engine's not running. And then the hose goes up to what's called a purge valve solenoid. And this basically opens when the engine's running so the gas vapors go in and get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's not running so they don't escape. And so the first thing to do when you get a P0496 code or any EVAP code really, is go check the gas cap because the gas cap needs a seal or else it could cause issues. The whole EVAP system needs to be in a slight vacuum to work properly and the gas cap is a part of this. So go and check it. It might be good, but basically just check it. Be sure it's not cracked, damaged, that that seal is good on there. If it does look bad, then it's a good idea to go ahead and replace it. If you do replace it, be sure to get an OEM original gas cap for your particular vehicle since sometimes third party aftermarket gas caps can cause issues. They don't seal right. But first thing to do is go check the gas cap. The next thing to do is to go check the purge valve. And this is going to be located up on top of the engine somewhere. And it'll basically have two hoses and a wiring harness. One hose is coming from the charcoal canister and one hose is going into the intake manifold. And this is just a simple valve. It opens when the engine's running. So these gas papers go into the engine and get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's not running so they don't escape. There's an easy way you can go about testing these. I made a video on that. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a link down in the description below. But the next thing to do is go test or replace the purge valve to be sure that it's working right. And so if you got through and you checked out the gas cap looks good, the purge valve tests good, then the next thing to go and look for is going to be like an evap leak. And basically to do this, you go around and look at all the hoses and be sure nothing looks cracked or like there's no leaks going on. If you took it to a mechanic, what they would do is they use a smoke machine and they'd feed smoke into the EVAP system. And wherever the smoke come out, they would know where there's a leak at. There is some low-cost smoke machines available online. I'll put a link down below if you need one. You can also make one up for like less than like five, ten dollars There's some YouTube videos on how you can make your own smoke machine. But the next thing to do would be to go around all these hoses and check to see if there's any leaks going on. Because if any of these hoses are leaking or any component is leaking, leaking, then it's going to cause issues. So next thing to do, check for an evap leak. And then if that all looks good, the only things really left to check would be the charcoal canister, the vent valve, and the fuel tank pressure sensor. The charcoal canister is going to be located up and underneath the vehicle by the gas tank. And it also usually contains what's called a vent valve. And the onboard computer uses the vent valve to test the system and things like this. And the vent valve is usually located inside of the charcoal canister. Sometimes it can be separate, but it's usually located inside of it. But if you got through and you tested everything else out, then the next thing to go and check out would be the charcoal canister and the vent valve. And so if you got through and you tested all that and that all looks good the only thing really left is going to be the fuel tank pressure sensor and this is what the onboard computer uses to monitor the systems and so if the fuel tank pressure sensor goes bad then there might not be no problem inside the system but the onboard computer thinks there is since the sensor failed and it's just reporting bad data this is usually located on the fuel pump although it can vary it could be located somewhere else but quite commonly it's on the fuel pump and so if you've gone through and checked everything else out the last thing really to check would be the fuel tank pressure sensor and so that's basically it i just wanted to make a quick video on how you go about fixing a p0496 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day